intermittent fasting, which is also very important and very helpful. Intermittent fasting actually turns on longevity genes. Intermittent fasting also turns on healing and growth and repair genetics. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking simply by restricting the amount of calories that we eat, being satisfied with less calories. And one of the easiest ways to do this, one of the easiest ways to incorporate caloric restriction into our lifestyle is to make sure you get on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Dr. Wallach and the one we talk about every day, the Longevity Nutritional Supplement Program. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. Try it. Check it out. Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Just try one product. It'll cost you 50 to 55 bucks a month. One of the quickest, one of the, uh, quickest ways that you'll know that the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is having an effect is you're just not, you're not going to feel like eating as much. And the less you eat, the longer you live. The less you eat, the lower the load is on the body, the more resources the body will have to heal, to grow, to repair, to anti-age. And this is especially important if you're dealing with some kind of health challenge. All right, tomorrow we'll continue talking about lipofusion. We'll talk about vitamins and nutrients that you can take to help improve lipofusion drainage, to help lighten those uh, age spots that appear on the skin, and even more importantly, to prevent the accumulation of those cell wastes, the lipofusion wastes that can show up in the heart and in the brain and the various glands of the body, which can have a negative effect on the aging process. We'll talk about that tomorrow. On the bright side, our number today is 855-660-4261. Time to hit the phone. Let's uh, see. Take our first phone call of the day. Um, uh, 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 let's go to uh, let's go to Regina in Texas. What's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side, Regina. Hi, Ben. First of all, I want to tell you I love your style of your show of Thank education you. with uh, the depth. So don't give that up, please. Uh, I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you, Regina. Not too much information. You don't think it's TMI? No, all no, right, no. Because you feel as though you really know what you're talking about. You can go into that depth, but you do it at a kindergarten level, so I can even get it. So I, I appreciate I really that. Appreciate it. That, that's I very meaningful it. to me. Thank you so much, Regina. How can I help you today? Okay, I have a sister that uh, she was diagnosed in, nine, in 2004 um, with having anemia, like severe <laughs> anemia. And um, we, we, we're a natural kind of family, you know, and so chlorophyll, we, we supplemented with lots of things. Well, since 2004, it has not come up very much. And, you know, she is an overproducer. I mean, she does her work. She's not dragging around and all that stuff. But what I'm saying is um, she can't keep going on like this because all of her numbers are unbelievably off the chart low. Okay. And that- she recently- now, does, she, does she have anything else going on? Anemia is a secondary health issue. It's not a primary health issue. It shows up when other things are breaking down. So she must have some other stuff going on, digestive yeah. issues, blood sugar, overweight, liver problems, no, bone problems. She, she's not really overweight. I'm her older sister, and I was always like a mother to her. Um, okay. yes, she's had digestion problems. She always could be, she could do these long burps, you know. Um, oh, okay. Some of the bloat. She, okay. Um, yes, very much. Right, there you go. That, well, that's where we want to address. Now, how old is she, by the way? She's about 50. She's younger okay. than me. Okay, together. well, now's the time. She, don't, she doesn't have time to waste here. We've got to get going. Uh, anemia is a, a condition where you have less, than, uh, less red blood cells than you need to have, or there's something wrong with your red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen. That's their main role. Once you have lower red blood cells than you need, you have lower oxygen than you need, uh, lower oxygen delivery to cells and, and to different tissues of the body, and that's a problem. Oxygen means energy, and, and one of the major problems with, uh, with anemia is, uh, first of all, you're going to feel fatigued. It's, it's great that she's using willpower to push past that that's actually can be a little bit counterproductive because if cells aren't getting what they what they need and she's pushing herself cells will become more stressed and ultimately cells will begin to die and that's where you really start to get into degenerative diseases so it's great that she's using her willpower but let's get her fixed up so she doesn't have to use so much willpower first of all we got to focus on the digestive system if she doesn't have uh, if she's got a problem with the digestive system, she's not going to be able to absorb protein. She's not going to be able to absorb vitamins. She's not going to be able to absorb iron. And all of these things can lead to an, uh, an anemia state. So first and foremost, we've got to focus on the digestive system. I would be uh, working with stomach acid. That's the first thing I would be doing. That means apple cider vinegar and something called bile salts. You've heard me talk about that, I'm sure. Uh, uh-huh. Apple cider vinegar can help acidify the stomach. And then the bile salts 
are going to be uh, uh, helpful for helping her process fats. And uh, best way to get that is through her ultimate enzymes from longevity. Use the ultimate enzymes after meals, and it will help her digest her food. It wouldn't hurt her to get on some liquid nutrients, especially liquid B vitamins. If she's not on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, have her get on it. If she is on it, have her up her dose. Probably throw in the Ultimate Daily as well. That will get her her B vitamins. The B vitamins are very important for building blood cells. Uh, and by the way, when she's using her, uh, she wants to use her ultimate, uh, I'm sorry, her apple cider vinegar and her ultimate enzymes with meat and iron-containing foods. If she's getting her iron from spinach or from vegetables, it's not going to be as effective as meat iron or as flesh iron. Uh, organ meats are probably her best source of iron. But if she's using vegetables to get her iron, have her grind the vegetables up, and that will make it okay. easier for her to access the minerals. And have her mix the vegetables with some oil, and that will help her access the nutrients out of the, the veggies as well. Uh, have her focus on any kind of foods that trigger digestive responses, negative digestive responses, and then eliminate those foods. Probiotics can be very helpful. Uh, use the, the Nightly Essence product. That's my favorite, of the, my favorite probiotic supplement. She may want to throw in some pancreatin as well. And then in addition to the bile salts that she gets from the Ultimate Enzymes, maybe a good idea to throw in some extra bile salts too. Then as far as uh, there's some other ideas for you here. Um, the B vitamins are going to be very important, but she could also, uh, she might also benefit from B12 shots. Sometimes B12 deficiencies can mask, uh, can uh, be a cause of anemia, a hidden cause of anemia. And if she has a problem with her stomach, she may not be absorbing her vitamin B12. You need to have stomach acid to absorb B12. So maybe she might want some vitamin B12 shots if she hasn't already done that. That could be something that'll be helpful. And then uh, also the fats are very important. Red blood cells, like all cells, depend on fats. The, the membrane on a red blood cell, like the membrane on all cells, is largely dependent on fats. That would be her ultimate EFAs. And have her take her ultimate EFAs and vitamin E, by the way, with lecithin and all her fat absorption aids. A couple more things. Hang tight. There's a couple more things that she can do uh, for anemia. Right. Anybody out there for anemia. we got to take a break. I was, I'm going to tell you about oxygen when we come back from our break, too. So hang tight, uh, Regina. And then if you're on hold, we'll try to get to you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. And we'll be back right after this. You have all seen and heard about the elements of the periodic table. These elements are the building blocks of everything in the universe. You, my friends, are made from these elements. A shortage of any of these important trace elements can lead to disease. Go with the science and take the Lady Talk Health Challenge and get all 90 essential trace elements with a healthy start pack at LadyTalkLive.com or call 855-333-LADY. That's 855-333-5239. Research shows it's not just what you put in your body that counts, it's what you put on it as well. Why not use an all-natural, healthy, mineral-based makeup that actually benefits your skin? Once you experience the airiness and flawless coverage of Longevity Mineral Makeup, you will never use anything else. With Longevity, the perception of your complexion will be natural perfection. Animal-friendly mineral makeup at Mary Lou Health. That's M-A-R-I-L-U Health dot com. Or call 855-321-HEALTH. So my elementary school age child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Contact me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. M-B-R-O-W-E-R at GCNlive.com. That's mbrower at GCNlive.com. 
great news for your water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy byproducts from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. Jeez. Welcome back to the Bright Side. Got a full board, and I'll try to get to as many calls here as possible. Just want to remind you one last time, I'll be in uh, Centennial, Colorado this evening, 6 to 8 p.m. for Dr. Drew and Marcy, Nurse Marcy and Dr. Drew, talking longevity, talking nutritional supplements, talking health conditions, talking skin care, talking ingredients. Uh, and then I'll be doing another talk uh, next Saturday, or two Saturdays. Uh, from yes, from a couple days ago, April 19th, from 10 to 12, and that's at the Cold Bull Library, 5955 South Holly Street. Hope to see you there. Regina, I'm going to go really fast because i got a bunch of calls I want to get to, um, ma'am, and thanks so much for your kind words. I appreciate them. Uh, uh, focus, in addition to all the nutrients we just talked about and the digestive health, so, so important for blood, uh, for the health of red blood cells, for anemia, uh, you're also, uh, and B12 shots, that's something I would think about, too. Make sure you're practicing, or have your sister make sure she's practicing deep breathing techniques. Anemia is about oxygen. Uh, red blood cells carry oxygen in addition to all the things uh, that you need to do to help maintain red blood cell health, B vitamins, essential fatty acids, vitamin E, digestive health, vitamin B12, your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, uh, Ultimate Daily. Make sure she's practicing her deep breathing techniques, oxygenating correctly. I would get the uh, Bio Breathing app if she has an iPhone. Uh, there's another app called My Calm Beat. And practice deep, slow, diaphragmatic breathing. It's so, so important. If she wants to do uh, something extra, she could do some yoga, and that can also help with oxygenation. Anemia is basically an oxygen problem via defective red blood cells. Does that help you, Regina? Awesome. You're awesome. Now, she got some B12 from a vet store. What do you think about that? From a vet? Like a veterinarian? Yes. Well, it's the same B12. B12 is B12. But but if the injections would be a little bit, I I would do the injections if I were her. That's just my advice. Okay. And one more thing, it was suggested to do an uh, an iron uh, infusion, which would be uh, I'm nah, not convinced. If she has a red blood cell problem, it's not an iron problem. It doesn't matter, and that's usually what the problem is. It's not iron. It may be an iron problem, but, but it usually has to do with the blood cells more than it has to do with iron. May I send you something by, you know, you tell some people, send me a, an email, and yeah. can I send you some sure. of the Sure, Ben at KSCO.com. Make sure you put on there that we talked on the radio, because I get uh, tons of emails. So and many. Oh, I, we love you. And, you know, Thank Jan you. and Leon in Dallas, uh, so many people you've been helping. Nancy True, we love you very much. Thank you so much, Eugene. God bless. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for the kind words. I appreciate that. Okay, Susan in Texas. Back to Texas. What's going on? How you doing? 
Uh, I'm fine. I was wondering what I could possibly do. I have tinnitus or okay. ringing in the ears and uh, it's driving me crazy. That is, that's got to be miserable. It's, it it's is awful. miserable. Oh, oh man. It sounds you, you like know. crickets and sometimes it sounds like ringing. Oh, you poor thing. That is an awful thing. Uh, here's the deal. Tinnitus, like anemia, as I was talking to Regina earlier, is not a primary health condition. It's a secondary health condition. It follows other things. Nobody just has tinnitus, and you can't just attack the tinnitus. You've got to focus on the other health issues. And most especially when you have tinnitus, what you want to think about is inflammation in the head, inflammation in the nerves uh, that are uh, connected to where your your ears are connected into the brain, inflammation in that, the, that whole well, center. Well, I've had four strokes. With that. Well, that's all connected. My, that's all connected. It's all related. So here's the deal. We want to start, you never hear the saying, a longest journey begins with a single step. That's what we got to do. We got to start where we can start. And that means first the digestive system. That is by far and away the most important place where inflammatory factors get into the body. You